your poor archaeologist. Which one? The one dead that uh, was uh, supposed to give her the lecture. One more drink, and she'll be back to normal. Why poor? Haven't you heard? She was shot. <laughs> no, it wasn't her. She was going to promote her book. Maybe it was a disappointed reader, eh? Instead of buying a computer game, he spent all of his money on a piece of paper. A lunatic. Only lunatics shoot the people. Maybe it was a reviewer, eh? He was preparing to go to a match when his editor told him to write an urgent review of a popular science book. He must have been a crime story specialist since he knew how to handle a gun. But that book he couldn't have handled, so he did the only thing he could. Bang! He didn't know that you don't shoot a piano player. Listen, that woman is alive. That's great news. Let's celebrate. Was she a rescue? Somebody else was killed. A gondolier. Oh, I had a feeling we wouldn't catch a taxi tonight. Explain it to me, Bianca. Why would a reviewer shoot a gondolier? Would you read such a book? So, the gondolier was a writer too? No. Would you buy the book instead of a game? Me? Of course. I'd buy it and ask her to sign it for me. Ah, yeah, right. I know you. You'd be a flirting with her. I'd invite her out for a free glass of wine. Haven't you heard she was barely rescued? What if you're drinking a free wine with her? And suddenly the reviewer appears and bang! I'd rescue her. Do you even realize what it would mean to be responsible for her life? I've taken a life-saving course. I'd give her a heart massage, a mouth-to-mouth. Ah, -mouth. Oh, foot massage would be best. What? What kind of a life saver are you if you don't know where the map of the whole body is on the feet, eh? You wouldn't have to brutally press her heart. Her chest? You lecture. She's already experienced enough violence. You can find her heart area on her foot and gently press it with your thumbs, slowly. Ah, that's exactly how I'm going to rescue her. And I'll show you where it is. Oh, Sylvie, I can't. Maybe you could show it to him, eh? You know what? I'll get that book with an autograph for you. Just wait a moment. Cool. But don't worry if it doesn't work out. Three glasses of wine will do. Remember not to badger the lady. She's barely been rescued. She deserves some rest. Goodbye. See you in the city. You'll find us in the last open a joint! Tipsy, but a funny couple anyway. I'd like to have fun like them. There's another masquerader on the bridge. I'll go talk to him. Figure on the bridge makes my skin crawl. That figure on the bridge makes my skin crawl. Just like the interior is an interesting combination of architectural styles. There's an empty gondola by the school of the wall. The question is how to get on it. On a night like this, the taxi stand is deserted.
perfect for newly met archaeology fans. I've got the book for you, with the dedication. To Bianca and Arnofo, true archaeology lovers, I hope you'll always feel like having fun. Sylvia Laroe. Beautiful. You've done a terrific job, girl. But you know what? I have a feeling we should thank the author in person. I really think she's been through way too much today. Arnie, I know you're a wonderful life saver, but let's not tempt fate. All right. So what are we going to do with such a promising night? I'm certain you'll be just fine. I've got to go my own way. Ah. Sylvie, once you've talked long enough, take him out to the city. You won't regret that. I don't know if he'll be willing to. Arani, oh, don't push her. She isn't the short of the guy yet. Sylvie, it seems you're having a tryst. Can't be so demonstrative, eh? It's not a tryst. Every decent Venetian girl wears a mask when going to a tryst. Take it. Without the mask, you're conspicuously naked. You just stand out. Thanks. Oh, and one more thing. I call this the Baron Munchausen trick, eh? If a guy turns out to be a worthless yet pestering, Grab the flare, administer it, and then light it. You'll get rid of him in no time. <laughs> Aren't you going a bit too far? The girl may take it literally. Ah, oh, stop your whining. I love you because you're so crazy. And now, we needed to do something for Sylvia Larue. What do you mean? I have a hunch that she is very sad and I can't do anything about it for now. That's why we need to have a great time, eh? Goodbye. See you in the city. Bye. You'll find us in the last open a joint. As a child, I used to make smoke bombs out of table tennis balls. <laughs> that was fun. Some cheap plastic on your face, and you're a completely different person. Another prop of a self-taught pyrotechnist. Too heavy. I can't hold it. No way. I'm not going to jump into the canal. No can do. Think, Sylvie, think! The curtain itself is too short to use as a rope. A great strong rope. Gee, it even sparkled. The man on the bridge will see me leaving, and the Count asked me to be cautious. Broken. I can't row with something like that. 
A good flare is really something, but a smoke bomb even more so. Locked. I can't get inside. There must be a door that it would fit. It's good for nothing. Too short. The flare's ready to be completed with something. Maybe it's a waste, but I wouldn't party today anyway. These strips, however, might come in handy. This could give a lot of smoke. The smoke screen's ready. Come in handy. I won't burn my hands. Falling apart. See? I reached Palazzo Celeste without any mishap.